this 45 lap encounter. The weather, the big question mark. National flag up and down. A great start from Tony Longhurst. John Lowe is customary bad start. Dick Johnson, a good start, switches to the inside. Johnson, the leader from Longhurst, then bow. Andrew Medecki in fourth. Alan Moffat, a very bad start in the Eggenberger built ANZ Ford Sierra. A welcome return to Touring Car Championship racing after four years away. And it's Dick Johnson who leads the pack through the sweeping left-hander at NEC. Johnson with one car length in hand from Tony Longhurst, then John Bow, Andrew Medecki, Larry Perkins and Jim Richards. A great start in the mobile BMW down towards this descending right-hander. The track that can catch a lot of drivers out. If you go wide and end up in the dust and the sand, you'll stay there for the remainder of the race. And that's something that they're all mindful of. Johnson the leader. John Bow now moves up into second place on the opening lap, the first of 45. Tony Longhurst in third, Andrew Medecki in fourth in the Oxo car, then Larry Perkins. Jim Richards behind, Colin Bond, then Peter Brock. He's just in front of old teammate Alan Moffat as the field completes lap one of 45. 2.41 kilometres, the Wanneroo Park layout. And some very interesting goings on in practice. Tony Noski there in the Clary entry. That record held by George Fury, a time of 62.44 seconds, and Johnson's time yesterday in qualifying in the second session was a stunning 59.32. John Bow only six one hundredths of a second behind, and Alan Moffat incidentally in ninth position. Peter McKay, this is another great start by the Shell team. Shades of the first two rounds. They've just been unbe unbelievable this year. Their consistency, their speed, nobody has gotten within cooey of them. Medecki now to third position by one Carling. Managed to get underneath Tony Longhurst through the right-hander. Park Royal Sweeper, a very difficult part of the course. Then they come down this long straight under brakes for the right-hander. Notice a new patch of road there this year, so the cars get very wide before they come down the pit straight. Right in front of our commentary point, lap two completed of 45. Dick Johnson the leader, John Bow in second. Third place is Andrew Medecki from Port Macquarie in the Oxo Ford Sierra. Fourth, Tony Longhurst in the Freeport entry. Larry Perkins uh, bringing up fifth spot, and Jim Richards also uh, good effort by him to go up to sixth of this uh, stage ahead of uh, Colin Bond. The gap from Johnson to Medecki, 2.25 seconds. Andrew was very pleased with his practice performance yesterday. Broken axle on Friday, missed the opening round of official qualifying yesterday morning, indeed at midday yesterday Western time, but said that he was very pleased this morning to be within five tenths of John Bow and Dick Johnson after qualifying, the closest he'd been in the first three rounds. Bow opting for uh, a wide line as he comes down to the right-hander. I think Medecki gave uh, Johnson and Bow a bit of a break when he came out in the second session yesterday because they were pretty confident with the times that they had posted. Uh, they were well clear of the rest of the field and then Medecki, having missed the session, as Neil Coffin said, came out and just went flat and real off uh, a lightning lap. What is interesting this weekend is the closeness of all the cars. For example, the cars in positions 5 through 10 separated by only five tenths of a second. They included Larry Perkins, Alan Bond, Colin Bond, Jim Richards and Peter Brock. And in fact, Jim Richards at the moment is right behind Larry Perkins. There's some seven or eight seconds behind these two. And Richards is in front of Colin Bond and Alan Bond with Peter Brock behind. Still, as we look down towards the east, Peter McLeod locks a break. There's John Farrell in the 52 Mobil Statewide Oils entry. Commodore travelling all the way from Shell Harbour. Yes, as we look east, it still looks to me as though we might be in for just a spot of rain. And if that happens, it'll make this race very interesting. There's Longhurst in fourth. You may see in the background this scrap of the minor placings at the moment. Quite a few cars involved. You'll see in the background Larry per uh, Perkins defending quite vigorously from Jim Richards. Then Colin Bond, then Alan Moffat, and then Peter Brock, tail end Charlie of this bunch. Perkins, you'll notice, still driving the VL Commodore, the car that's been run in Australia now for almost the last 18 months. Was to have run his new car next weekend in Adelaide, but they're still waiting for the official homologation of that car. We may now see that for, uh, for Lakeside in 4500 of the new Group ASS Holden Commodores can be built. Spots of rain on the lens of the camera. I noticed that time at the bottom end of the circuit wheel cut. That's going to make this race very interesting. Race leader Dick Johnson 
lapping at uh, just a touch over the 60 second mark, 60.5. Fastest lap on it, in fact, though, belonged to John, uh, John Bow, even though he's in second place, just uh, put in one quick lap there. Shade faster than Dick. They're not getting too far away. His Perkins is still under a strong challenge from Jim Richards, and they're closing up behind Alan Moffat with a slower car sandwiched in between them. Colin Bond there as well. Larry Perkins, 8.96 seconds behind Dick Johnson. This is a great performance from Jim Richards in the mobile BMW M3. He's got Colin Bond on the inside, though, who wants to move up a slot. These cars, the M3s, that is a second quicker than they were here this time last year and continued development going into the Bridgestone tyres on the car and then Compley helping with the computer programming and the engine management system and the cars are working quite well 2.3 litre 4 cylinder double overhead cam 16 valve engine versus the 2 litre turbocharged Ford Sierra twin cam and 16 valves again in terms of horsepower, no comparison, but their power to weight ratio certainly suggests that the Sierra is the car that's got the score on the board. And this is where the dice is at the moment. Commodore, BMW and Sierra in that order. Bond pulls out and tries to get inside uh, Jim Richards as they go into the corner. And does so. Looks at out so. wide. <laughs> but he comes out in front regardless. There was a suggestion earlier in the week that uh, the drivers had to stay on the inside of that white line as Colin Bond now finds that gap that he's been probing for. These two have had a great scrap in the third round of the Touring Car Championship at Winton Raceway and in the there. opening round of the Amscar Series. And it continues today for round four at Wanneroo. Now Moffat tags onto the tail of Jim Richards, so this scrap is not over yet, not by a long shot, although the battle between these three has allowed Larry Perkins to get away just a little in front of them. Andrew Bacon, the other white boards here, are mixed up in that bunch, the second of the Oxo cars. He's down a lap. Just checking the gap from race leader Dick Johnson back to Colin Bond. Colin Bond in second place in the uh, overall championship. With two third place finishes and a second place finish so far. It's about 12 seconds back to this group of cars really embroiled in quite a battle. And Colin have now opened up on um, on Jim Richards as we go back to our leader Dick Johnson. As Gary said before, lapping in times around the low 60 second mark, which is not bad considering the car is coping with fairly heavy fuel loads and to begin with certainly quite cool tyres. They're up to temperature now, no doubt about that. and gets away with it. So Moffat up to sixth, or is he? Because Larry Perkins has the benefit of the run to the inside for this next crucial corner. Beneath our speed cam in the pit straight. Yes, and Perkins gets back with the advantage of being a little tighter. So Moffat has to do all that work all over again. Well, he hasn't done such a bad job, uh, all things considered, having uh, blown the start quite badly and now involved in this battle here with uh, Larry Perkins. Still a lot of hard 